And now let's turn to Japan. It's a tough time for Prime Minister Fumio Kishida there. His popularity is sinking, his ratings were already poor, and now he has a scandal at hand. Japan's ruling party is under investigation. This is over a fundraising scandal. Party factions are accused of under-reporting funds. They are being investigated now. And today, Kishida has stepped down as chief of his faction in the party. But there could be more trouble ahead. If even one of his lawmakers is found guilty, he may have to step down as prime minister. Our next report looks at Kishida's growing troubles at home. Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida is in hot water. The reason is a fundraising scandal. His party factions have been accused of many things underreporting funds, receiving kickbacks, and siphoning off some of those funds. So, how does it work? In Japan, lawmakers hold fundraising events. It's a way to raise money. Usually, this money is raised by the sale of tickets. You hold an event, you sell tickets, you raise money, you deduct the money you spent on the event, and the remaining profits go to the organizers. For Japan's factions, this is the main source of revenue. They raise millions of yen every year. In 2022, the Kishida faction received 229.35 million yen in revenue. 80% of that comes from fundraising parties, so it's quite a big deal. Now, of course, that means there are some rules. Political parties need to report this revenue, especially if it's more than 200,000 yen in a year. As long as it's reported, there's nothing wrong in raising the money. Which makes this quite an explosive scandal in Japan. Because not only did the lawmakers not report the earnings, they also pocketed some of these funds. The allegations came in last November. Some ruling party factions were accused of pocketing some of these monies. Something close to 40 million yen. Five factions were accused. One of them is the Kishida faction. On Wednesday, Kishida ordered his party to put a temporary halt to all such events. He said he was tackling the issue and wanted to restore the trust of the public. Today, he resigned as the party chief of his faction. But if his lawmakers are implicated or forced to resign, he may have to step down too. Which brings us to Japan's Liberal Democratic Party. It has held power in Japan for most of its post-war era. But Kishida's popularity is in the dumps. His ratings are lower than 30%. Even a stimulus package did not help. Kishida seems to be giving away money. But no one still wants to vote for him. And the reasons are many. Kishida was never as popular to begin with. He was unpopular when he was chosen. And the numbers have only gotten worse since then. Plus, voters are worried about rising costs and tax hikes. All of this makes for the perfect political storm. One that could see Kishida out of office. Japan is set to hold its leadership elections next year, with a general poll due by October 2025. Will Kishida manage to hold on to power till then? By the looks of it, it's quite unlikely. The fundraising scandal may be the last nail in the coffin of his political career.